Mafino, the legendary spice merchant. You know, the one with the OP backpack? He's been reanimated by the Immaculate to bring back wealth and glory so that they can win the Holy War. His ritual brought nothing but blood to the Immaculates. He murdered his summoner and took his iPod Nano that his mom gave him for his 13th birthday. He's cruel and greedy. And now he's on a hunt. On a hunt for everyone that owes him money. Their blood price in exchange for blood bowl. How's it going amigos? It's Curse again with another Outward video. This time I'm showing you guys a gun slinging assassin build. Honestly, guns are so underrated and pack one of the biggest punches in the game. Like always, I'll go over my stats, skills, equipment, as well as where I got all the items I mentioned. Now, I do stream on Twitch if you guys have any immediate questions, the link will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos on Outward, and leave a comment below on your thoughts on the video. Now, let's get straight into the build. So, how's it going amigos? Of course, I'm going to get right into the build. First, I'm going to show you my stats, then my inventory, and then my skills. Um, so, let's go ahead and start with the stats. So, I ended up staying with 100 max mana, uh, 75 stamina, and 100 max mana. Now, the reason why I have 75 stamina is because I went with the mercenary skill line, the assassin skill line, and then I went with necromancer instead of going for more stamina. Because really, guys, you'll see right now, my stamina just never runs out. It's it's not infinite, but it's just like, it's more than you need, honestly. Um, so the reason why I'm with the Necromancer is because it complements the Assassin. And the reason why I'm with the Assassin is because it complements the Mercenary. So let's go ahead and start with that. So inventory. Uh, Brutal Club. So the reason why I use this is because if you see right there, it says it inflicts confusion on enemies. Now, keep that in mind so when I talk about the skills, uh, you'll know what this means. Uh, bone Pistol. That's completely lore-based. So you know how it's like, oh, the Immaculate's brought back um, Mafino. So I'll, like that's exactly why I bought it because he's like a necromancer or whatever. Uh, but if not, go with the Cannon Pistol because this one also inflicts confusion. And you no longer have to have this club. You can, wear, uh, you can use whatever primary weapon you want uh, if you just run this pistol. Uh, the cannon pistol. Now you could also go with the more expensive one, do more damage, and also run the brutal club. Now I just go for this one just for the lore. Now the master trade hat uh, that gives you 15% stamina uh, reduction as well as a 5% movement speed boost, which is awesome. The master garb, master trader garb is 5% um, movement speed and minus 10% stamina cost. The boots are minus 5% stamina cost, but then plus 15% movement speed. So these are awesome. And then, of course, the Mephino's Trader backpack because you just run around looting everything, collecting everything, and it just makes your life a lot easier. Uh, you sell everything you get, you just make a bunch of money. So, like this, I made like 1200 in, like, let's say, like 15 minutes, maybe, um, if even that. So, now my Red Lady's dagger. Great dagger, honestly, potentially one of the best daggers in the game. Uh, I really like it because it just does so much damage. Um, and then, of course, these are for my archer build that I'm, I'm collecting them. <laughs> and then the pearl bird mask. Obviously, if you're going down long distances, you just put this one instead. Uh, that way, you just it's, it saves you some time. Um, Astro potion is super important because I don't have any mana regen. So, Astro potions, very important. Um, another thing is a luxury tent. So, a luxury tent, when you use it, it'll give you this buff right here. Stamina cost of minus 20%. And besides, it's Mephino. He's a baller. So he has to have the luxury tent. All right, guys. So now time for the skills. Um, I'm not going to go in order through my hot bar just because I need to explain some things first. So the thing that makes this so OP essentially is a shatter bullet. So what it does is you put iron scraps in your pistol um, already with a bullet and then you shoot it. And what this does is that it inflicts pain. So this is super important because there's two skills that actually use this to inflict even more damage, like Serpent's Parry. So Serpent's Parry, if they already have been, if they've already been afflicted by pain, when you successfully counter an attack, they start to bleed. And this extreme bleeding is super OP in my opinion. Um, 
you hit it once and they're pretty much dead. You could just walk around. But, I mean, I don't like to play like that. I kind of like to keep attacking. But it's fun. Uh, it could save your butt. Now, the other uh, ability that goes off a of Shatter Bullet is not Backstab, but where is it at? This one, Opportunist Stab. So, this one does quadruple the damage, okay? If they have had Pain and Confusion. So, that's why this is important. The Brutal Club. Because you afflict Pain with Shatter Bullet. And then you can hit them once with the Brutal Club. And now they're confused. So now you can do Quadruple. If you do either or, it's only double. Um, so it's still pretty good. I still use it every time. Every now and then I can't get a hit off. Now, if I just want to completely eliminate this, go with the Cannon Pistol. Because it does Confusion. And then plus a Shatter Bullet. Now you have both. And now you can apply Opportunist Stab. Now, the reason why I went Necromancer... <laughs> is because I can reveal souls and then use Conjure, right? And that sets me up for Backstab. So Backstab does triple the damage if they're impacted from the back. Uh, makes sense. Now, Conjure, what I do is I, I summon a minion. Um, I let them go attack, and now that they're focused on the minion, I just go behind them and super easy. Uh, does a bunch of damage. It's actually kind of ridiculous because uh, you could combo all of these however you want. Now, Blood Bullet is insane. Blood Bullet could be a whole build on its own. I could literally make a mage with just Blood Bullet and it's insane. Like, I, I could just go full mana or at least full mana regen or uh, full mana reduction cost. Like, if I could just get like 100% mana reduction. Um, and Blood Bullet is insane. Uh, after making this build, I was just like, wow, I had no idea guns were this OP. Um, I'm honestly probably going to make a video on just this skill and maybe like way to complement it, but essentially just this skill. Um, what it does is that you actually siphon uh, health from an enemy first. It reloads your gun and then you shoot the bullet. Uh, so you do double the damage. Sometimes it for t uh, ticks for three times. I don't know why, uh, but it's super OP. And then you could get the obsidian pistol, which does fire damage when you use your blood pistol. So not only are you like siphoning, you could also tick them with fire and now they're ticking forever with fire and then you're st you're just healing and shooting the bullet back. It's like insane. You never even have to buy bullets. It's actually ridiculous. Um, now, your biggest actually damaging ability is your cold boon with your frost bullet. So you don't need a bullet for this. You use your cold boon first and then you use your frost bullet. So you see here, I could shoot that. You have to be in close range to use it, but wow, is it ridiculous, and it also shoots AoE. So you can hit multiple enemies at once, just as long as they're all like kind of in a circle. It's literally ridiculous. On my hot bar, obviously, I have dagger. I switch from my dagger and my pistol, um, and then shoot, uh, reload, and shoot. Now, I rarely, honestly, use reload and shoot. Usually, I just use it for shooting because um, it's honestly ridiculous. Now, in order for you to use... That just reminded me right there. In order for you to use your Blood Bullet, you do have to have your Possessed Boon on. Now, it's totally okay, though, because the cooldown is 120 seconds, but it lasts 237, oh, 240. So you always have it at all times. You just have to recast it. Uh, it's, kind of, it's really ridiculous. Okay, so real quick, before I show you where to find the items and also uh, how to craft them, I'm going to show you uh, exactly where... What? Sorry, no, Good why... I got these skills. Uh, why I went with the mercenary and the assassin, uh, and why I went with such little stamina, even though it's actually a lot. Um, because with the mercenary, you get so your movement speed is increased by ten percent. That's great. Now sprinting consumes forty percent less stamina, so that's already really good. Now with the assassin, what you also get is you're able to dodge roll without getting impeded by your backpack. So now I just never have to take off my backpack, which is great because I never have to worry about it. I just keep running and running and running, and all I do is just keep getting more loot. I don't have to go get my backpack. I don't, like, you, I don't know if you ever, like, you take off your backpack, you fight, and then you, like, pick up the items, and then your, your pouch is full, and you're like, God damn it, I have to go get my backpack. Um, so what can I do? you don't have to do that. And that's with this one, Feather Dodge. Uh, lowers the stamina of dodging by 50%, and it allows you to dodge impeatedly. So great skill. Um, should I get this? Hmm. Nah, I really don't need it. I'm not stealthy at all. I'm like literally just like through the whole thing. So I don't need it. 
Um, and then with the Necromancer, all I got was just Conjure. There's literally nothing. I got the, the other, like, the cheap skills. But besides that, uh, really, it was just for Conjure and Spark, I guess, so I can fill up my mana bar. But that's why I went with those. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get the items as well as how to craft it. All right, guys, so we're going to do uh, the boss that's inside that wind tower. Now, if you didn't know, that is where the wind tower is at uh, for Abrazar Desert. It's going to be this one right here. This is exactly where we're at. Um, so I already have my cool boon activated, so that's why I'm not getting any heat from the desert. Let me put on my hat. Um, and now let me use my possession boon. Now I'm going to use my cool boon now. Because I want to have it on as the bullet. And we should be good to go, honestly. Like, just like that. Now, my plan is to use the cool boon first. And then reloading with the pain. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. So, that I reloaded with the pain. Is he stuck? Alright, we're good. So, now, we want to wait for an attack, right? And then use the counter. So now that we use the counter, honestly, we can just get hit. Um, but essentially, what we want to do is go for another one of these. Another scatter shot, right? So right there, he hit me. It's fine. He's going to go for the shot. I'm going to go for that. So now he has uh, pain inflicted again, right? So he's already dying because of the bleed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal right now. I'm going to use my blood bullet. I'm gonna shoot him with the blood bullet, switch to my dagger, and then just stab him with the quadruple damage. Well, amigos, looks like that's it for this one. But I just wanted to take a quick second just to thank you guys so much for all the positivity around the channel. All the likes, comments, subscriptions, the views. It's all great. Really good stuff. I really appreciate it. Now, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.